If you use TikTok or know somebody who does, this is gonna scare the heck out of you. Many governments are banning TikToks for various security reasons. So I thought this was gonna be one of those, oh, uh, those government boomers are just being overprotective and they just don't get this new tech. Boy, was I wrong. Let's ignore for a second the whole sending citizens data over to China bit. Let's focus on the fact that they claim that TikTok not only collects data when you use TikTok, but TikTok actually spies on other apps and other things you do on your phone. Uh, that can't be right. So I set out to debunk this popular TikTok security issues and things took a turn for the worse. I ran three tests. One is a Google search. Number two is installing some dating apps. Don't judge, you'll see what I mean. And number three is changing my location. To give this a fair chance, I took a brand new phone, I reset it to factory default, I created a brand new Google account so it had no search history, no contact, no data. I then installed only the TikTok app to see what it would show me. Okay, here we go. Let's log into TikTok for the first time. I am using my Gmail account, but remember, no contact, it's got no search history. This is literally the first app I've installed without touching my phone. And it's serving me kind of random stuff like I would expect it to serve since it doesn't know me yet. All right, so TikTok is kind of trying to figure me out at this stage. It's throwing a lot of stuff at me to see if I would connect with any of them. So let's fire up test number one. What would happen if I started searching for something specific on Google? Right, let's fire up Google Chrome and this is the first time I'm using it. And I'm gonna search for something like, I don't know, how to paint a house. Oh, okay, misspelled that. Never mind, it still knows what I meant. And it's gonna have a whole bunch of articles, as you would expect. I'm gonna scroll down, click on a couple of them, go through it. Okay, let's accept the cookies and read some articles. Let's do a bunch more. I'm gonna fast forward through all this so you don't have to watch me doing it. But you get the idea. I've just searched how to paint a house, some DIY stuff. And let's see what happens now. Right, so if the rumors are true, then TikTok should now show me videos about DIY. Let's see if that happens. And the moment of truth. Let's fire up TikTok. Will I see any DIY stuff? I see Texas stuff. I see some random stuff. Another Texas thing. Still doesn't know who I am. Nothing about DIY though. Now, at this stage, I was about to give up the experiment and begin writing my notes, but then this happened. So let's head back into TikTok. It's been a moment since last time we checked and look at this. There's a first DIY video. Is this just a random one? No, the next one's also a DIY video. What about the next one? Well, this one has got to do with home. This one is literally mirror DIY. The next one? Okay, some painting stuff. Okay, so look at how my timeline has radically changed from the beginning. Just weird random stuff all over the place. And now all of a sudden, it seems to be very focused on DIY. Mm. You gotta admit, something has shifted from the random stuff I was getting to more in line with my searches. So does that mean TikTok is actually looking at my Google searches? Well, one test of course is not enough. So let's do this again of something completely different. Something like uh, vacation cruises. Right, back into Google search we go. Cruise ship holidays, cruise ship vacations out of Miami. I'm going to engage with a whole bunch of articles. And obviously I'm fast forwarding this. I didn't do this at this kind of speed. And I wanna see whether TikTok is gonna be able to pick this up and then create content based on this latest search. So tips and tricks, vacation destinations, cruises. I'm looking for any of that and to see how my timeline will be influenced. All right, now let's fire up TikTok and see what we get. Will it be random topics or more DIY stuff or will it shift to cruises and vacations? Right, back into TikTok we go. What kind of content are we going to see? It looks like some more DIY business kind of stuff. More DIY-ish things. Okay, this is done definitely is DIY. More DIY. So nothing to do with cruises, nothing to do with vacations. So let's wait 30 minutes more and try this again like we did before. Half an hour later or so, what is it gonna give me? Bang, the first video is a vacation. The second one, some random thing. The third one is an actual cruise ship tips. The next one, hotel in the Maldives, that's vacation, some tech stuff, TikTok might be bad. Another cruise ship, seriously? Another cruise ship straight away? 
some vacation thing. Look at that, that is insane. Ships, boats, vacations, cruises. Just too much of a coincidence to be random. 30 minutes after searching for cruises, the content changes from mostly DIY to mostly vacation stuff. So I did a bit of digging and it looks like TikTok is probably not getting the info from the Google searches, but from the good old cookies that we blindly accept on websites. The next time you see a cookie notification, take a moment and look at the cookie notification itself. It's likely that it says that it gives access to your data to third parties. So my guess is that TikTok is one of those third parties. So what does TikTok privacy policy say about this? So I went and read it to see if my theory was correct. And guess what? It's all right in there. They state so clearly. Under the cookie section, they say, we and our service providers and business partners use cookies and other similar technologies, example, web beacon, flash cookies, etc. All right, before we talk about what to do about this, let's move on to test number two, the app test. Does TikTok see the apps that you have on your phone so it can show you more videos based on those apps? Okay, I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna install a whole bunch of dating apps. I'm gonna install Tinder, plenty of fish dating app, uh, Bumble, I don't know, whatever these things are, Grinder, Hinge, plenty of fish. These are just um, apps that came up. Honey, I didn't even log in, I promise. Look, here, here is proof. Okay, so I actually don't log in to any of these or create accounts. The only thing I did was simply install them and have them on my phone. The big question is, does TikTok see this as signals to create content for me? So let's fire up TikTok and see what it does. Okay, first video is about a cruise ship. So very much into that cruise ship again. Another cruise ship video, another cruise ship video, uh, some DIY stuff, cruise ship, vacations, random um, TikTok stuff, more cruising, nothing to do with relationships at this stage. So once again, no changes in the content, still cruises and vacation, but did you notice how there was very little DIY? As before, let's wait 30 minutes and then check back in again. About 30, 40 minutes later, we're logging in. What are we gonna see? Vacation stuff. And the first relationship video popped up. Wow. Okay, another vacation thing. Another relationship video that's popped up. Another cruise thing. Another relationship. More relationships, things that have come into play here. More relationships. How does the timeline change so drastically in such a short period of time? Wow. The DIY stuff is completely gone. The crew stuff is still in there, but definitely more relationship videos. So they are looking at the apps on our phone. But then again, they do disclose that this is exactly what they do in their privacy policy. Under the section called information from other sources, check this out. It says advertisers, measurements and other partners share information with us about you and your action you have taken outside of the platform such as your activities on other websites and apps or in stores, including the products or services you purchased online or in person. This is just insane stuff. These partners also share information with us, such as mobile identifiers for advertising, hashed email address and phone numbers and cookie identifiers, like we spoke about before, which we use to help match you and your actions outside of the platform with your TikTok account. All right, so now I'm curious, what about location? Initially, I noticed there were videos around Texas content, which is where I am. So what happens if I change my location using a VPN? Okay, I've got my NordVPN, not sponsored, on this phone, I'm going to go to London. So I'm gonna change my location from Texas to London, and let's see how quickly TikTok will react to a change of location. So firing up TikTok and then, man, the first video, three days in London. How crazy is that? That happens so quickly. What's the next one? NYC, uh, relationship stuff. Okay, so a bit of a mixed bag. A little bit of England mixed in with just the randomness and vacation stuff of TikTok. Interesting, the first video was about London, but the rest were bits and pieces from dating and vacations. Again, let's give it some time and let's see what happens. Okay, this time we waited about an hour. I'm still connected to London and I wanna see what TikTok reacts. So, the moment of truth, fire up TikTok and some relationship stuff. Three days in London, Monument Station, Underground, that's in London. 
Three reasons why you should travel to London. Uh, I mean, come on. So just by changing the location, we managed to get a bunch of videos to do with London specifically, amongst the relationship and the vacation stuff and some cruising stuff. Okay, so once again, it's pretty clear. And again, it's all laid out in their privacy policy. So they have the usual, we collect information about your approximate location, including location information based on your SIM and or IP address. But check this out. In addition, we collect location information such as tourist attractions, shops or other points of interest if you choose to add the location information to your user content. So now what? Well, firstly, let me be clear when I say this isn't meant to be a I got you video. I'm just sharing what I experience and your experience may be different. We have no insight into how exactly the TikTok algorithm works and I use TikTok's own privacy policy to confirm my findings. Secondly, I have a link in the description that links to TikTok's privacy policy. It has an entire section called Your Choices, which shows you how to opt out of all this tracking stuff. Now take that with a pinch of salt knowing who wrote it. Now, thirdly, I think we're only scratching the surface. The more I read the privacy policy, the more questions I have, the more I'm convinced there's a lot more that's not being said. I mean, here's a case in point. Gizmodo just released an article where they discovered that over 28,000 apps actually use TikTok software development kit. That's called an SDK. And they actually use that to integrate into TikTok system and send TikTok user data for functions like ads within the algorithm, logging in, sharing videos from the app. So just banning TikTok isn't really gonna stop TikTok from getting user data because the SDK is being used by a whole bunch of very popular games like Mobile Legends and Trivia Crack and Fruit Ninja and video editing apps amongst a whole bunch of other apps which are all over the various play stores. So again, this goes much deeper than it seems. I also do think that most people simply don't care. I mean, think of a 15 year old watching some funny prank videos. Are they really too concerned if they Googled what's the legal drinking age in Barcelona and our TikTok knows that? and then they go do some funny TikTok challenge and then they upload it. Now, as a parent, this is concerning as their digital footprint will have an impact on their future. And whilst we're on the topic of future, if all this content is being fed to China, what if your child grows up and works in government or law enforcement or has access to classified info? It's not beyond the realm of possibility to think that all this info they're uploading to TikTok today could be used to identify them and target them in the future. We've all seen how facial recognition, AI and deep fakes are being used today. Can you imagine how all this data being used today to teach AI machines will be used tomorrow? And again, for me as a parent, this is something I am very concerned about. The kids, not so much. Now, personally, I would think twice about having confidential apps or notes on the same phone that you have TikTok. Read that privacy policy and tell me again if you're 100% confident that TikTok doesn't have access to that data. So I would love to know what you guys think. If you have TikTok, will you keep it or remove it? Will you warn your family and friends that they are paying for this TikTok freebie stuff with their data from their phone? And speaking of phone, are you still walking around with your phone's Wi-Fi switched on all the time? You may want to reconsider when you watch this video right over here or watch this video right over here that YouTube thinks you will love. Hit the head down here to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up before you head out and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.